Hello, today we're gonna to be doing a stretch with a band. If you don't have a band, please go grab a towel. Our lower bodies get so sore as does our load back. So I really do wanna concentrate on the hamstrings, the glutes and the hip flexors today. Joining me is Fezzik, our favorite fat cat who was named because when we got him, the Princess Bride was out and that was our favorite family movie. He's 15, so he's been around for a long time. Okay, let's grab the mat, excuse me. I want you to lie down and put it on one of your feet. What a band or towel does, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> it lets you get a little bit more flexibility. So I want you to bring that back towards your chest and you should feel it all back here. Now, if you need more, you can bring it back more. If you need to, to double it up, I think I need to double it up. Ah, oh, there we go. And I want you to go just till it feels good for you. We are all different. You might be up here and feel it. That's great. Please don't compare yourself to me. I've been stretching for a very long time. It might not look like it right here, or it might look like I'm flexible, not sure. But I want you to breathe into, I feel it right here. So I want you to take a deep breath in, breathe in to where you feel it and breathe out. We're gonna do it three more times. Take a deep breath in and out. Take a deep breath in and out. Let's do one more deep breath in. And out. Now my right foot is up, so I'm gonna keep my right hand on my band or my towel, and I'm gonna straighten out that left leg, and I'm gonna bring this out to the side until your body says, oh, I'm good right there. Remember, everybody's different, no comparing, and then stop where you feel it. This is a great hip opener. Our hips tend to be so tight because we sit so much. Me too, I sit a lot. This is a thank you to your hips for supporting us and for sitting far too often in a chair on the couch wherever you sit take those three deep breaths and blow it out let's do it again deep breath in and out let's do one more and out slowly you can bend and let's switch legs. Let's start with that leg bent. And remember, one side of your body is more flexible than the other. So if you've got your other leg really far back, please don't compare side to side. You just can't just go to where that feels good and you're, it's enough, it's not too much, it's enough. And let's take three deep breaths. Straighten out that leg and bring that out, out to the side. Open up that hip. And again, it's okay if it's a little bit uh, uncomfortable. Not a lot, but a little bit. Stretching can be a little bit uncomfortable, but not a lot. And if this does not feel great, bring it up a little bit more. I want the stretch to challenge you a little bit and really just to relax your muscles but if you're in agony and you're moaning and groaning a little moaning groaning is actually okay but not a lot let's take those three deep breaths let's take one more and let's slowly bring that up and I want that right foot down on the ground. Let's put that left foot over that knee. You're gonna thread your hands through that right leg so they are clasped behind you. And I want you to bring that stretch back in towards your chest. Now, that left knee, I want you to think of it as going away from your body, not coming in. That will help open that stretch as well. This is one that 
it's one of my favorite ones because I really feel like every time I do it, I think, why don't I do this more often? It is such a good hip opener. I feel it in my hip. I also feel it in my glute. Um, and, and just like everybody else, I have, I have times where I should stretch more. I stress, stretch daily after my workouts, but I should take a midday stretch. So if you are like me and you need a midday stretch, please always use this as a reference for you to do whenever you need a quick stretch to open up your lower body. Let's take a deep breath in and try to bring that in just a little bit closer. It might hurt so good. Okay, let's release and switch sides. Left foot on the ground, right foot on that knee. Let's bring that, thread those hands behind that left leg and bring that back towards you. Oh my goodness. I did a lot of hiking yesterday, so my legs are very thankful right now to be doing this. Hiking or no hiking, this is a thank you for your muscles for working so hard for us every single day. And please don't ever think that stretching is a waste of time. It is not. It is so glorious for our muscles to be um, not asked to work and just asked to relax and stretch. And the more you do it like anything else, the easier it's going to get. People that don't stretch might find this incredibly torturous, but keep at it. And after a week or so, you will be surprised it does feel better. Okay, let's put those hands behind your legs. Roll yourself up. Let's come outside now. If you are super flexible, you might want your band or your towel. And we're going to come down. Actually, it feels good even though I'm flexible too. Come down. And the important thing is for the stretch, I want your body to be in line with that leg. So turn that body and bring yourself down. And if you feel this in your low back, that's good. This is low back and hamstring. And I just want you to breathe. Let's not rush the breathing. One more deep breath in right here. Oh. Let's just do one more. And slowly, slowly come up. Let's switch sides. Again, a towel works just as well as a band. Remember, you don't want to look at me. You want to look right down towards that leg and gently bring yourself down. Oh boy, that feels so good. And if you feel this in your hamstring, you are absolutely doing it right. And if you notice after this, if you had a tight back, you might get up and go, oh, my back feels great. Because the back and hamstring are connected. They totally are. So stretching those hamstrings are so good for your back. Let's take two breaths in right here. legs together. Now, you might not even need the band. This might be as far as you can get. That's okay. You might want to grab onto your shins. Different for everybody. No comparing. Comparison is a killer of joy. Okay. Bring yourself into your legs until your hamstrings say that's enough. I want actually I want your head down. I want you to look towards your knees and not towards me being conscious of keeping your head neck spine in a straight line and if you look up that's going to put your head at a funny angle and i definitely do not want that take a deep breath in right here and try to get lower into that stretch <sighs> do it two more times take a deep breath in right here and try to get lower Deep breath in right here. And try to get lower. Let's come in, shake those legs out. And you wanna finish with something that just feels good. It's not even a stretch, but it feels good. Hands on your knees. We're gonna take a deep breath in and bring those shoulders up to your ears and then let it all go. It feels amazing. Okay, close your eyes. You can look on the first one though. Take a deep breath in, bring those shoulders up, and let it go. How good does that feel? Let's do it two more times. Great big deep breath up. And let it go. Okay, last time right here. Great big deep breath up. 
and let it go. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Keep this in your back pocket. This would be a great daily stretch for you. We all have a few minutes a day to stretch. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you can get updates every time I create new content for you. And remember, every minute you spend on yourself and your health is worth it because your health is your greatest wealth. Thanks for joining me.